Christmas for Greta and Gracie by, Z by Yasmin Ismail. Greta and Gracie were sisters. Greta was bigger because she was one year, six months and three days older than Grace. They both had the same smile, the same hobbity skip walk and their names both began with G too. But when I was your age, I was much taller than you are. Count it on my, count it on my tippy toes. It's nice being taller. It makes me look more elegant, don't you think? Anyway, it must be hard being so sh short. Greta was chitty chatty and Gracie was quiet. That was just fine because Greta loved talking to Gracie and Gracie loves listening most of the time. It was Christmas Eve and Greta and Gracie were busy colouring in. Greta had the red, green, yellow and blue and black crayons. Gracie had the brown crayon. I love Christmas, Gracie. I can't wait for Father Christmas to bring my present. I've already written my letter. Have you? I've asked for an orange tricycle with gold steamers and a basket for Freddy the Teddy. Try that again. Steamers or streamers? Streamers. Good girl. With Freddy the teddy under my arm, I hope Father Christmas remembers that I need a new coat and matching gloves too. Do you think Father Christmas has a bike? Don't be silly, crazy Father Christmas has a sleigh, not a bike. And his boots are black, not brown. Anyway, colouring in is boring. Let's get our coats and go outside. Gracie was still colouring in. She wanted her picture of Father Christmas to be just right. So Greta and Gracie pulled on their jackets and went to help decorate the big tree in the village. Do you think Father Christmas decorates his Christmas tree? I don't think so. He has the elves to do things like that. Did you know that a 597 elves in the North Pole, or maybe it's 598. Whilst Greta was busy thinking about elves, Gracie, Gracie looked for the star in the big box of decorations. She was just getting ready to climb the ladder and put it on a tree when Greta came over. I'll do it, Gracie. You're too little and I've climbed the ladders before. I'll pop it on the top. I'll pop it on on the tree and then we'll go to the shop. So Greta pops the star on top of the tree. The shop was very busy. Gracie wanted to buy some red ribbon. A wrapping present and it was too noisy everyone from the village seemed to be there excuse me miss goose excuse me miss goose i'll do it you're too quiet in any way father christmas only likes gold ribbon so greta asked for the golden ribbon Miss Goose chatted to Gracie as she carefully counted out her coins. You must be excited about Christmas, Gracie. What do you think Father Christmas is like? Oh, Father Christmas is just wonderful. He's the best, nicest and has a sleigh and reindeer. They give presents to good little girls and boys. He has a hat and... A red coat and a big white bushy beard and he eats biscuits. You can write him a letter and he'll come and visit you visit and say ho 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 and he puts 
things in stockings and he wears big boots so his feet are warm and he has a big button on his coat and they are so shiny and sparkly he is magic on the way home Greta said there was just time to go to the ice skating rink let's go fast can you twirl as quickly as me no Gracie like this like this and now standing on one leg like this like this like this and stretch your arms like this like this but Gracie decided to go very slow on the ice I don't like going fast it makes me feel wobbly in my tummy I might fall over do you think Father Christmas likes to skate Father Christmas is a champion skater and he twirls all the time but Gracie you're not doing it properly. Do it fast. Faster. Oh, I'll do it my, by myself. You're too slow. That night, Gracie went to bed. She was listening to Greta snore. And when she heard a funny noise, could that be Father Christmas? Too quietly upset again. Could that be Father Christmas? I must not rush it's good to be slow gracie slipped out of bed and opened the bedroom door very carefully so it didn't squeak even the tiniest bit she tiptoed along the hallways so her feet didn't make a single sound i must not make a noise it's good to be quiet the sitting room door was a tiny bit open. A little bit of light shone across the hall floor. Gracie squeaked through the crack. Through the crack. I'm nearly there now. It's good to be little. And then the sitting room was um. Father Christmas. Hello, Gracie. What a good thing that you're here. Perhaps you can help me. It's you. So Gracie helped Father Christmas with all the parcels and they sat together eating biscuits and drinking milk. They talked about all sorts of things and Gracie asked Father Christmas all the questions she wanted to until it was time for him to go on his way. The next morning, Greta woke up Grace, woke Gracie up very early. He's been, he's been, Gracie. The biscuits have all been eaten, so he must have liked them. There are loads of presents under the tree. I haven't counted them all yet, but there is a lot. I hope the big ones are for me. We've both got full stockings too. Gracie opened her mouth to tell Greta about meeting Father Christmas. I can't see you put it on camera because you can reflect. I can't see you. I'll do. Greta opened her mouth to tell Greta about meeting Father Christmas. But Greta was already pulling her towards the sitting room. They found two exciting knobbly stockings, a pile of parcels. Each of the stockings had a label on it. Look, this one's for you, Gracie. I'll read the label for Gracie. Thank you for your help. It was very nice to meet you. Love, Father Christmas. You saw Father Christmas? Yeah, I did. And he was sitting... Right here, when I saw him first, and he had a brown, and he had brown boots and a big red coat. 
and a big sack full of presents that had red ribbon and gold ribbon and blue ribbon and green ribbons all on the ribbons. And he told me all about his reindeer and what they liked to eat. And his reindeer was really kind. And he had a big white beard and twinkly eyes. And he asked me to help him. Come on, Greta, let's open our present. And for once, Greta did not say one single word. Merry Christmas.